Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Final Fantasy XIV playthrough video. And it just so happens that this one is the last one ever. I'm just kidding, not ever. The last one, the final episode of Shadowbringers. I'm super excited for you guys to get to experience it with me. And I'm really, really pumped to just get into Endwalker, honestly. We're going to be trying to get through that before Dawn Trail comes out. No promises there, but yeah, as always, before we get into today's episode, Let's do a little recap of what happened last time. Last time in part one of 5.5, we caught up with the Scions in the Rising Stones, where we were invited by Raoban to an Alliance meeting to discuss the recent appearance of those scary purple towers all across Eorzea. Upon arriving, we bump into Arinvald and Fordola, who are very hush-hush about their mission and promise to chat after the meeting. In said meeting, it's revealed that they will be the ones going behind enemy lines lines to investigate the towers from the inside using their echo abilities. Alfie isn't too happy about this being so close to Arnvald, but they insist due to their own personal reasons, so ultimately Alfie agrees and won't stand in their way. They say a suspiciously foreshadowy goodbye to one another before setting off on their mission as we continue on our way to Ishgard to track down the ever elusive Istinian. Turns out it actually wasn't that hard. We greet him at the airship landing, uh, but he runs into a little bit of a problem called pissing Alizé off by mistaking her for her brother, rookie mistake Estinian. But once all that blows over, he tells us that he believes Tiamat held in Azisla may be able to shed some light on the latest incarnation of Bahamut, you know, the lunar variant. So Alfie and Estinian try a little good cop, bad cop routine, Estinian using Tiamat's trauma as a way of riling the dragon up, while Alfie appeals to the emotional side, and it actually works. So we attempt to hack into the elegant mainframe to free Tiamat from those shackles, all while Alizé and Angelo attempt to soothe her to her pre-tempered state. We succeed, and Astinian mounts the dragon flying off to the front lines of the battle, ready to help us defeat Lunar Bahamut himself. We make our way through the final dungeon of the Shadowbringers expansion, Pagalthan, a gorgeous journey from southern Thanalan out into the sprawling grassy plains, taking on the tempered and finally Lunar Bahamut beneath one of the menacing Teleferoi towers. But as we do so, inside one of the towers, both Fordola and Arinvald are deep into their secret mission. As they inspect strange and horrific sights within, they get a little too touchy and trigger an alarm system, summoning Lunar Ifrit. And as the primal strikes down upon Fordola, Arinvald rushes to the rescue before the scene promptly cuts to black. Speaking of alarms, this was a false one, as back at the airship landing in Ulda, we receive word that Arinvald is safe, alive, and being treated, but that the situation is grave. As we anxiously await news on his condition, Fordola tries to convince a sorrow Alfie that life happens, people die, get used to it, all that kind of stuff. But surprisingly, Estinian sticks up for the lad stating his affinity for optimism as a redeeming and needed quality. As we return to the Rising Stones, we speak with Kryle, who informs us that she wishes to travel to Charlian to appeal to the Forum about the Telophoroi and their intent to bring about the final days. Her and Yastola also working on matters regarding the Warrior of Light and Heidelin's absence. Before departing, however, we also convince Astinian to join the Scions, so that's kind of cool. And of course, finally, we were left with a Garlemald cutscene featuring our favourite dastardly duo. As Xenos continues his weapon shopping spree. And that's about where we left it off. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new here and you're enjoying the videos. Become a member if you want to help support the channel. Join the Discord if you want to stay up to date. All of that good stuff. Links are in the description below. Thank you guys for watching through my Shadowbringers journey. But without further ado, here's the final episode of Shadowbringers 5.5. Alize can tell you're itching to take the fight to the Telophoroi. Damn right, Alize. Wait. Is he crying? Is this Alfie? It looks like Alfie. Ah, too, you're looking well. I take it you managed to squeeze in some rest. If you came hoping for tidings from Kryle, I'm afraid we're still waiting. But we do have some odd scraps of news to share. Scrap, she says. Lunar primals have been popping up all over the place, but the Alliance has the situation well in hand. Thanks in no small part to Hori Boulder and the others. Really? I thought they just stayed in here and got free food and stuff. 
Meanwhile, talks with the Beast Tribes are going even better than we expected. Encouraged by Uldah's progress with the Amalja, Redania has opened negotiations with the Ixal, believe it or not. All of which is obviously very encouraging. But with the Talafroi still out there, it's not as if we can afford to lower our guard. Who dis? Begging your pardon, but I come bearing an invitation from the Alliance. A council meeting is due to be held in Alamigo, and your attendance is humbly requested. Ah, we were just talking about the Alliance. May I ask what's on the agenda? I believe the intention is to share news of recent developments and discuss what measures might be taken to combat the Tlofroi in concert with our new allies. The Beast Tribes have also been invited. Ooh, spicy meeting. I remember the last time this happened. It is hoped they will join us in the fight against our common foe. So, the Alliance would bring all of the Beast Tribes into the fold at a single stroke. An ambitious plan given the delicacy of the negotiations, but mayhap an expedient one, considering the threat we face. Indeed, my lady. And for their part I am told the Beast Tribes have agreed to attend. If the Scions too are present, all of Eorzea will be represented. Ooh, that's kinda cool. I think that's the first time ever. To arrange such a meeting must have been quite an undertaking, not only diplomatically, but practically. Pray inform the Alliance that we would be honored to participate. We shall make for Alamigo without delay. Then I will bear your answer thither with all haste. We look forward to receiving you at the Royal Palace. Well, now that we've accepted the invitation, who exactly is going to attend? Not me, not me. I move that you and Yushtola lead our contingent. Given how long you have worked to end the summoning, it is only right that you be present for what promises to be a historic moment. They are kind of the OG Scions, right? I think we've all played our part in that little endeavor, don't you too? All present may rightly claim a seat, I do quite agree. But by your leave, I believe I shall remain here and lend what assistance I can to the coordination of our defensive efforts. I'm not coming either. Emmerich will be there, and I'd rather not be interrogated. Very well then, while those with a mind to hold the fort get on with holding it, I suggest the rest of us make for Alamigo, shall we? I didn't agree. Look at the moon, chat. The big moon. I have a feeling we'll be going there soon. I don't know why. Oh, God. Sneak ladies here. Well, this is awkward. <laughs> Anybody want to say anything? Oh, Heen's here. Sick. <gasps> oh my god, it's been forever. The cabbage people. Esteemed guests, you honor us with your presence. As there is much to discuss, let us begin. This is cool, though. Honestly, this is, this is really cool. Information on our taken brethren you have, yes? Hear it, we would! Ah! <laughs> Beyond forgiveness these featherless ones are! With rivers of blood shall they pay! Chill! Freed our people must be! Chill, bro, chill! We're all chill here. We too would see your kin liberated. But ere we attempt their rescue, we must first find a means to negate the risk of tempering. Without that, we will be unable even to approach the towers, let alone contend with their defenders. If all Tell else fails, Stola. I've always found cannonballs quite effective. <laughs> Tell us more about your cannonballs, Harley. Will you see them slaughtered? Shh, slaughtered. Think for a moment. Ponder, consider, think. If Merlwib truly intended to bombard the towers, she would have done so by now. 
Remember, we came here to find a solution together, did we not? I like him. Yistola spoke of defenders. I but offered a means to clear a path, should you require it. Hmm. <laughs> Given the enemy's capabilities, we will all need to play our part if we are to have any chance of success. For if any here should give less than their best, it will be to the cost of every living being on this star. A paragon? The Empire? Our very gods? How can we hope to prevail against such odds? That our foe is formidable, none would deny. But our strengths are many and varied. In this chamber, I see masters of strategy, masters of magic, masters of the land, the air, and the sea. And together, there is nothing in creation we cannot overcome. Which category did I fall into, do you think? Magic? Strategy? <laughs> Are you good, bro? <laughs> Not I beg your pardon. He burped. Sorry. Look at Nanamo. <laughs> what is it, Sir Walker? Do not express your passion thus. A little frisky will have deals, perhaps. <laughs> Suffice it to say, I am proud to be counted amongst the Aussie's finest. Ew. We Ew. the hugging will play our part. Thanks for talking like this. Jeez. We kobolds have not forgotten the crimes the Overdwellers committed against us in the past. But today we look to the future as allies united in purpose. This guy doesn't like it. Ah, make mock <laughs> of what the paragon does. Turns kin into puppets. Pits brother against brother. Free them from his grasp, we shall. As Patriarch Zadar will attest, the Scions have granted us a means to free your brethren from their thraldom. This boon we will gladly share, that your people might never be enslaved again. We don't have the skill yet, though. We accept! We accept! Praise me! We're gonna skill this baby up. I don't know how, though. It's taken a while, but I do believe we might be one step closer to a world without primals. Mm. Would that mean Philia were here to see it? No. I was just thinking that, the way they do it and they show everybody. It was kind of the goal from the beginning. We still have a long way to go and we're going to need a lot more porksies. But we're moving in the right direction. If I may have your attention, there is one other point I would like to raise. I'm we starting. <laughs> Freeing those held captive must take precedence over every other concern. I'm starting a group. We will have uniforms. But experience has taught us that none save those with the capacity to resist tempering can hope to enter the towers unscathed. And even once inside, a still greater threat may yet await them. That which we call a primal. Needless to say, if we are to succeed, engaging with such foes can only ever be considered a last resort. And so I move that we seek to prevent them from being summoned in the first place. Mm-hmm. Yes! Both prayer and ether are needed for the ritual. Should either one be denied, the summoning would fail. So we'll Indeed. keep all the crystals. And so we must endeavor to discover the source of the ether on which the process depends. Do so, and it may present a way to halt the summonings, or perhaps even neutralize the towers entirely. A promising proposal. While you are conducting your investigations, however, we will need to remain vigilant, lest the Talophoroi commit further abductions and summon primals ere we have the means to prevent them. To stand a better chance of keeping our enemy at bay, we would do well to coordinate our defensive efforts 
sending reinforcements to assist our neighbors when needed. We, Amalja, would have been overwhelmed were it not for our newfound allies. But say the word, and we shall come. Oh, baby. We got an army. An alliance army. I like I it. I see we are all in accord. But what are we to call this proud fellowship of ours? I submit that the honor of naming it should go to the Scion whose brave efforts have done so much to unite Eorzea. What say you, my friend? Me? Aww. Cuts to Alfie. <laughs> I have stage fried Emmerich. You know this. Hmm. I would call the Grand Company of Eorzea. It's a little bit dull. A little bit formal. Eh. Uh, um, I, I, I would call it, uh, um. Might yep. I suggest the Grand Company of Eorzea? I remember a certain someone pondering it once upon a time, and it seems as fitting a name as any. She stole my thunder. I gave her it. I set her up for that. You saw it. A fine choice, for there is none here who does not love Eorzea. I love how we ask me, and then she just cuts in and gives her suggestion, and then we just go with that. Like, I didn't even exist. Okay. I'm really becoming more irrelevant, patch by patch. Aye, in that we shall ever be united. United in our gratitude for the realm that gave us life. Then let it be recorded that on this day, the Grand Company of Eorzea was born. I think we should call it something else. Oh, uh, this is why he's crying. Oh, Surely nothing wrong. Nothing can go wrong, right? How long have we dreamed of this moment? And now that it's here, I... Oh, forgive me. Might we speak outside? Arky died for this. Well, now that we are out of earshot of the other delegates, I hope you will forgive me if I speak my mind. Let me begin by saying that I have dreamed of this day since the moment I first set foot upon these shores, and that I was as heartened as anyone to see the peoples of Eorzea pledge their solidarity. Yet even as they uttered their declarations, all I could think about was the conflict to come, of the sacrifices that would be made, the lives lost, inevitabilities that I still struggle to accept. But at least now there is hope. The formation of the Grand Company of Eorzea, bad name, is the first step, the first of many. Many and more. Who dat? Ah, Elder Seed Seer. How might we be of service? I seek Master Alphanode's assistance in a matter involving Gridania's neighbors, the Sylphs. I know that you and yours have long kept a weathered eye upon the crystal trade, the better to predict the coming of the primals, and so you will be familiar with the Sylphs of the Ashkron Consortium. Through their dealings, they have cultivated relations not only with the city-states, but many other communities besides. Communities such as the Beast Tribes. Just so, it is our hope that we may make use of the Sylph's established lines of communication to coordinate the efforts of our new fellowship. Yet there remain certain physical differences between a trade consortium and a grand company. If the Sylphs are to perform their task effectively, they will require the counsel of one versed in the operational aspects of an armed force. An armed force founded with the self-same goal in mind, no less. You're gonna put him in charge? The Crystal Braves, yes. Forgive me, Master Alphanode. I know that it was a painful chapter in your life, but the experience may yet be made to serve the realm. Uh, in my hubris, I plotted a course for the Crystal Bridge which stretched far beyond the Order's initial conception. One intended to pave the way for the finding of what I intended to call the Grand Company of Eorzea. Bad name. 
But my plans all came to naught. Built upon a frail foundation of lofty ideals, the Order was doomed from the first to collapse under the weight of more worldly interests. And I have no wish to see this new endeavor suffer the same fate. Mayhap I ask too much of you. Not at all. You may count upon my assistance for what little it is worth. By your leave I shall prepare a report, including a list of recommendations drawing on the lessons I learned from the failures of the Crystal Braves. You have my gratitude, Master Alphino, and my trust. When your report is ready, pray share it directly with the Sylphs. With your guidance and the earnest efforts of every goodly soul gathered here this day, I have no doubt but that our fellowship shall emerge from the shadow of the Telophoroi and flourish. Until next we meet, my friends. Before committing anything to writing, there are a number of people whose thoughts I should like to hear. Former Braves, you understand. Might you join me in seeking them out? Ooh, like, uh, real? <laughs> I'm thinking of an excuse not to. Well, I shall be grateful of your help, grudging or not. I'll join you. If you're planning to canvass the opinions of your former comrades, it will be a lot quicker if we share the task of questioning them. Then mayhap Graha can lend a hand as well. I shall accompany Thancred to the Rising Stones. Between us, I dare say we should be able to provide an accurate enough account of the day's events. We should be glad of your company, Graha. I shall explain the details on the way. Okay, so what's the plan, brother mine? Before discussing the task at hand, I should probably admit that the report I proposed is largely written. Not long after that fateful day in Ulda, I penned a detailed account of the organization's history. How convenient! From the events that led to its inception, to the feelings that brought about its demise. This I did primarily as a means of taking some semblance of responsibility. Never did I imagine that it might later be referred to by those seeking to form a similar organization. And while I made every attempt to be objective, the account was mine alone. Its events viewed from my singular perspective. For it to be of use, however, it must be broadened to encompass the viewpoints of all involved, and only then can it answer what seems to me to be the crucial question, namely, why after the Crystal Braves disbanded did some members choose to remain with us while others did not? I see. You think the answer will tell us something about the nature of the ties that bind our new grand company together, and that this knowledge might help us to prevent it from falling apart when those bonds are inevitably tested? That is my hope, yes. But the questions I would ask are uncomfortable to some. As the former commander of the Crystal Braves, I doubt that those who abandoned the cause would welcome my inquiries. Then Graha and I will just have to try. And meanwhile, the two of you can talk to the ones who kept the faith. Fine suggestion. Have care. However, certain of my former comrades are of questionable character. So keep your wits about you, and let us reconvene in Gridania later on. Which ones? Like you, Hase? If you have no objections, I have a mind to begin by speaking with Riol and Alian. If memory serves, the two of them will be attending an intelligence briefing at Castramorians. Let us seek them out there. Okay. Have we ever heard Riol speak? I don't think we have. I don't think he's ever been voiced. Well, look who it is and what brings you two here. Wouldn't have anything to do with the big meeting, would it? In a manner of speaking, I have been assigned a task, you see for which I require the assistance of former members of the Crystal Braves. So, you want to know why we decided to stick with the Scions, eh? Hmm, it ain't an easy thing to put into words, that. You just knew we were such good people. As Riel will attest, I spent a long time agonizing over my failure to alert you to the traitors in our midst. For my negligence, I was captured along with many others, and we were powerless to prevent the tragedies that ensued. Not a day goes by that I do not think back to those fateful events. By joining the Scions, I hope to redeem myself, and I will continue to serve the cause for as long as I am able. But that wasn't my only reason. When we were finally reunited at the Rising Stones, you refused to blame anyone but yourself for the fall of the Crystal Braves. And in spite of everything that had happened, Everything you had suffered, you took us back without a moment's hesitation. We would not have blamed you had you turned us away, but when you gave us your trust instead, what else could we do but to try to repay it? Aww. Nothing, that's what. 
As for me young tail, well, I always felt the Scions have something in common with me old crew. The duty of the strong is to protect the weak. That was our creed, and I still strive to live by it to this day. But as time's gone on, I've learned that strength comes in many a shapes and sizes. From Hori Boulder to Mistress Tataru, we've all of us got something to offer. And not one of us is doing it for personal gain, as we believe there's more important things than that, things worth protecting, which is what being a Scion's all about. I, I'm at a loss for words. Thank you, my friends. To hear this from you means more than you know. Forgive me. To, could you? He needs a little cry. Why do you think the Crystal Braves ended in failure? Easy answer, Ilbert was a psycho. That's why. Well, it's fine and ideals were something to be proud of, but ideals alone don't make a crew. For every swab who signed up with good intentions, there was another who was only in it for the coin, the glory, or both. Ours was quite a disparate band, and while I will never forgive Ilbert, the fact that we managed to function at all was thanks in large part to his efforts. Just a pity he was doing it for all the wrong reasons, eh? Only takes one bad apple, they say, and the Braves had a barrel full of them. Not like the Scions. We might look like a ragtag band of misfits, but deep down, we've all got that shared sense of purpose. And why? Because Tataru sifted out all the glory hunters before they made it through the door. Yeah. Threw them in the trash. I see. So while our ranks comprise a diverse range of people, each with their own individual strengths, we are all united in purpose. Thank you, my friends. With your permission, I shall make a record of our discussion and refer to it when drafting my recommendations. Until we meet again. Well, I think we have taken up enough of our colleagues' time, and I am conscious that less life-affirming testimonies await. Let us make our way to Gurdania and hear what the others have learned. Thanks to Tutaru's ever-dependable intelligence, we managed to track down a handful of former braves without any great difficulty. Some were forthright, others less so. But we heard enough to form a picture. I must warn you, Alphano, some of their comments were... Harsh. I can well imagine. But their opinions are no less vital to my report. I seek the unvarnished truth. Thank you. I will set about adding your findings to my own at once. In the meantime, pray go on ahead to Little Solace and seek out Elder Frixio. I will join you anon. Ah, Frixio. Camuxio. Laxio. Good to see you guys. There's some guy up there as well. I remember I ran up through here when I was like 20 levels under leveled. <laughs> I, I was like running for my life. I was getting like lightning balled, all sorts of stuff. Ah, welcome, Brave One and friends of Brave One. How good it is to see walking ones again so soon after the meeting. The customary dance of greeting. I forgot about that. No, no, be at ease. It is true that these ones once delighted in making walking ones dance, but no more. Wait, were they trolling me? Horned one, Kane Senna, said that walking ones would be coming to Little Solace. Imperial ones also invaded Sylphlands and abducted many of these ones. So these ones will be glad to bear messages between fighting friendly ones. That is heartening to hear, Elder. It will require all one. <laughs> will require all ones to work in unison to stop the Talaferoi. These ones will try very hard, of course, but in matters of war, these ones have little experience. Any advice walking ones can provide would be most welcome. Oh, another pretty silver-haired one. And in quite a hurry, it seems. Alfie? Oh, shit. <gasps> Alize, you must come quickly. What's the matter, Alphanode? Don't tell me. You couldn't read my handwriting? What? No, a twin other officer accosted me as I was about to set out. Charlene has sent an envoy, who is due to arrive in Gordania at any moment. An envoy? Could it be that Kral has managed to sway the forum? We shall know soon enough. But there is more. The envoy has requested that the two of us attend the audience with the Elder Seedseer. Really? I can see why they might want Scions to be present, but us specifically? Wait. It isn't who I think it is. Who is it? It is. I could scarce believe it myself, but when I inquired as to the envoy's identity, I was told that it was one Fortunal Levelier. Relation? Your father? Well, no. 
The fact that a serving member of the Forum had journeyed here would be surprise enough. But him? Quite. I glean from this that they are taking the matter seriously. We can't even meet Alfie's daddy. Oh shit. That may be. But why him and not one of the other 98 Forum members? Unless he volunteered for it. It has been some time since you last saw your father, has it not? Could it be that he is concerned for your well-being? Perhaps. But he has always been reluctant to discuss his work with us. Indeed, whenever we write to our parents, it is invariably our mother who replies. Nevertheless, I welcome the opportunity to meet him after so long, even if it is secondary to his true purpose here. Elder Frixio, loath I am to cut our visit short, we must return to Gridania. Pray accept my apologies, along with my report. Never mind, there will be time to talk later. This one won't keep walking ones from more urgent matters. Go. The audience will be held at the Lotus Stand, where the Elder Seed Seer awaits even now. Let us be on our way. Honestly, more interested in meeting uh, mother than father, but that's just me. Here he comes. Wait, he's got my hair. Yo. Yo, it's me. <laughs> hey, bro. Elder seats here. I thank you for granting me this audience. He took the bad ears, though. He chose, chose the bad ones. I am Fortuno Levea. Here in my capacity as representative of the Forum. It's like the Spider-Man meme. <laughs> it is I who should thank you, Master Fortuno, for journeying so far and so swiftly. Would that our first meeting could have been under happier circumstances. He's a little more blonde, though. It has been too long, Father. You look well. As do you both. Amelians will be glad to hear that you are taking care of yourselves. He seems pretty, pretty nice. I guess. How is Mother? She misses you terribly, of course. But is otherwise a picture of health. I can definitely see where they get their little rat tails from. Inspired from Dad. Apart. I'm grateful that our meeting has afforded me the chance to be reunited with my children at long last. And I believe I also owe you thanks for the hospitality you showed my father, Louiswa, during his sojourn Ooh. in Eorzea. Damn, he's Louiswa's son? That's cool. I guess I never really thought of that. All thanks we owe to him. In the days prior to the seventh umbral calamity, it was your father's tireless efforts which granted us a means to vanquish the primals. Were it not for him, our strength would have been quite spent by the time the Empire arrived. That Gridania still stands is in large part his achievement. He was a great man. He was pretty cool, yeah. He would doubtless have been moved to hear you say so. I must confess, however, that I opposed his decision to intervene. Oh? And my position remains unchanged. Oh? You came all the way here to tell us no. The fuck? To chart the course of history, not to change it. I am familiar with the Charlian stance. It is more than that. It is our way of life. Who we are. Switzerland. God damn it. But I came here not to deliver a lecture, but the forum's answer to your request. Charlian will under no circumstances intervene in the conflict between Eorzea and the Garlian Empire. Okay. Well, then we're all gonna die. I guess. May I ask for what Thanks, reason Dad. the forum has come to this decision? The final days spell the end not only for Eorzea, but the entire world. You know when Kanae-san is pissed at you, you're, you're, you're definitely doing something wrong. The final days. 
Pray spare me your hyperbole. This conflict is no more than the latest in a series of petty squabbles between yourselves and Garlemald. One in which Charlian will take no part. <laughs> if the final days were truly upon us, we would know. Bloody things Father, so highly of You must ask the forum to reconsider. You may feel safe on your little island across the waves, but if you imagine that Telophoroi will leave you be, you are mistaken. They mean to kill us all, themselves included. Maybe we I should give him a tour right. of the towers. We've seen what the enemy is capable of, the lengths to which they'll go. This is no time to turn a blind eye. Bring him along for the next Bahamut fight. <laughs> Maybe then he'll reconsider. If Eorzea falls, so too will Charlian. So if you truly love our homeland, you will join us. Now, before it's too late. He's like, damn, my kid, my I kids. I knew better than to raise your voice to your elders. It seems I was wrong. Wrong to ever let you leave, Charlian. I consoled myself that your time abroad would instill in you some hint of restraint, of discipline. No, we, they deceived the world, man. They deceived the world multiple times. Don't worry about it. But I see now that Eorzea has made fools of you both. Have you forgotten why it was that I so vehemently opposed your grandfather's departure? No. For all his wisdom, his only solution was to go to war. Death. Devastation, ruin. Even those who claim victory are scarred for life. What prize could ever justify such sacrifice? It Not is the duty of the learned to dying. Such tragedy. By fanning the flames of war, you forsake all you once held dear. I don't know. It feels like this guy's a little bit out of touch. No? Like, we get attacked, no? We get attacked by Garlemald, by fucking Ashians, by dragons, by all sorts of shit, right? And then we're just expected to, like, lie down and take it. Okay. Okay, bro. Isn't this a Louis Swa quote? To know the plight of those one might conceivably see if it's not wisdom, it is indolence. I think it is. I'm using your, your friend your dad's. shares your misguided ideals. But unlike him, you should know better. Using his dad's word against him. By nice. espousing such barbaric notions, you subvert the teachings of Charlian and place all we have worked for in jeopardy. Alfino, Alizé, as of this moment, you shall no longer bear the name of Leveilleur. Oh! What? Father. I don't think it How works you like that. to live your lives no. is no longer my concern. If you wish to walk the path of ruin, I will not stand in your way. I think he just means like, you know, like you, you're not a level you're more than like you have to change your name. <laughs> you literally have to go to the office and change your name, guys. Master Fulchino. While Charlian may have no intention of intervening in this conflict, we can still part as friends. Will you not stay and speak with us, that we might learn of Charlian's hopes for the morrow? I have said what I came here to say. Any further discussion would be meaningless. So he just came... Man. Getting his air miles, I guess. Father! Wait! Don't bother, Alizé! <gasps> How can you stand there and watch him walk away? How can you let this happen? Aww. Arthur Fist. Damn. Wow. Just as things were kind of going right for Alfie, this happens. That's sad. Alfino, Alizé, as of this moment, you shall no longer bear the name of Leveyer. <gasps> <laughs> I see. Okay, you just knew she would. <laughs> oh shit. Oh 
Hopefully, their backs would be okay, though, because they'd be getting constant hugs. Sad face time. So that's what he came here to say. That we're all fools for having the temerity to defend ourselves against the Terlofroy. And as for the rest... Like it or not, this was the Forum's decision. To watch from afar while Eorzea burns. Father was but the messenger, and as he handed down their judgement, I could think of nothing to say that could possibly sway him. I still can't. To have prolonged the discussion would have changed little, for it is not only Master Fortunal who must be persuaded, but the Forum as a whole. Their decision was made ere your father crossed the sea. Nor is it like to be changed, and so we shall face the Tolofroi without their aid. Forgive me, but if they had no intention of helping us, then why would they go to the trouble of sending an envoy in the first place? Why did they not simply keep their counsel, as they are wont to do? Hello? Sorry guys, mom's calling. Who? Has Master Fotional arrived yet? And left. Then it is as I feared. My efforts were in vain. I pleaded our case to as many foreign members as I could, but they flatly refused to discuss the matter. No, that's not exactly true. I should rather say that they ignored every word I said on the subject without exception. It was almost unnerving. Could it be that they're high- Wait, is she on loudspeaker? <laughs> I, I don't remember putting it on a loudspeaker, Graha. Could it be that they're hiding something from us? That might go some way to explain Master Forshino's performance. When he said that they would know if the final days were truly upon us, I dismissed it as pride. But what if they genuinely believe that they know how the world will end, and simply disagree with us about the circumstances? That I don't know. Am I just not on the phone with Kral here and you guys are on the phone? <laughs> Come on. Come on, guys. That I don't know, but something tells me they're not as concerned about the Talofro as they claim. If the threat weren't real, why else would they be so standoffish and secretive? I would very much like to delve deeper into this, but I'm afraid I've exhausted every avenue of inquiry. Nor have I fared any better with my other mission, researching Hydaelyn and the Ethereal Sea. I tried enlisting the help of experts in the field, but it appears the Forum has forbidden anyone from cooperating with us. Shit. Obstructed at every turn. So it would seem. But don't lose heart just yet. With all the knowledge and acquaintances we have between us, we can still find a way forward. To that end, I would like you all to join me here. Vacation! Oh, when the time is right. Fuck. When the time is right, of course. Damn it. I am aware that matters in Eorzea stand on a knife edge, but with your permission, I can at least start making the necessary arrangements. I've always wanted to visit Charlene. To be fair, I actually have. Since we got the old Charlene in, what is it, Dravania, near Alexander, I wanted to go to the real thing. And so you shall, albeit under less than happy circumstances. It may take a while to secure entry for you all, but I'll let you know when everything is in order. Look after yourselves in the meantime, won't you? Your speculations give me cause to hope, yet if these seeds will bear fruit, I cannot say. While it is possible the Charlians may hide some secret truth from us, there can be no certainty that its exposure will prompt them in a change of heart. And so, for the present, we must needs confront the plight in which we find ourselves. The Forum has refused our request for aid, and it falls to us alone to contend with the Tolofroi. We got this. Even with all of Eorzea standing united, there is no guarantee that we will prevail. What does Charlene intend to do if we fail? While Charlene's stance is indeed disappointing, we cannot allow ourselves to be distracted from the challenge before us. There is much and more to be done. I shall begin by sharing the Forum's response with my counterparts in the Alliance. Meanwhile, I would ask that the Scions... Grave Tidings walk... Oh, okay, walking ones. I was like, who's this? Grave, Grave Tidings. Calm yourself, my gentle friend. What has occurred? These ones who went to see the Feathered Ones send terrible news. Destroying ones have appeared in Zelfatol. The Ashians? Destroying ones and captured ones, and even frightful godly ones, feathered ones, didn't stand a chance and were sent flapping and squawking. 
When did this happen? Is it too late to help them? Too late, yes, much too late, but luckily destroying ones were only passing through and continued on west. Feathered ones who did not fight were left unharmed. West. That would be Curthus. My lady, these guardians report that the Telephoroi have emerged from the eastern highlands of Curthus and are marching at speed. Though their purpose is yet to be determined, the Cardinal Flats would seem their most likely destination. Lord Emmerich has already dispatched his forces and requests our immediate support. Tell him he shall have it. The time has come for the Grand Company of Eorzea bad name to prove its worth. Well, mayhap it is a mercy that we do not have time to stew upon our misfortunes. Come, my friends, let us make haste to Cartano. Wait, this one almost forgot. Destroying ones were said to be led by cackling robed one. Oh god, we know who that is. This one must see that all walking ones know. Farewell. Van Daniel? Who else? It was only a matter of time before that grinning maniac showed himself again. I shall have an airship ready to bear you to Cartano. Pray see to your preparations and report to the landing with all haste. At once, my lady. Let us away. Okay, wartime again, baby. Let's go. Two, it would seem for Dooley here. Oh yeah, I just noticed she's right here. Hello. <laughs> Two, it would seem for Dula here has come all the way to Gridania to find us. I have explained the situation, but she insists her business is urgent. Aye, and it'll be over sooner if you shut up and come with me. What could it be? Where'd all the sprites go? <gasps> Aaron Vald, he's good. Oh, Arnvold! I can't tell you how good it is to see you. Don't tell me he's lost all like functionality. <gasps> no, yeah, I a sooner than expected, eh? The day I crane my neck up at you. Oh no, he said it. Only because you're sitting down. Unless. Unless. He's sitting down forever. Afraid so. The Chirurgians say I may never walk again. Damn, that bow is bright, man. <laughs> come on, Alfino. It could be worse. Besides, I didn't come here to dampen the mood. Quite the opposite. All he I seems in good spirits. Fight for a cause I believe in. But my fighting days are over. So I want you to fight in my stead. Be the hero I can't. He's like another Alfie's big bro. I am bro. no hero. That's what they all say, though. No one ever calls themselves a hero. Even the ones who eat primals for breakfast. It's for others to decide. I mean, I... I, I call myself a hero. Look, Alfino. You already are a hero. To me and countless others. We see you doing your damnedest to protect us all. And you're not alone, are you? There are people who believe in you, just as you believe. Oops. Hmm. We carry the dreams of many. We'll carry yours too. That sounds awfully poetic. I bet she feels a little guilty. Responsibility. That he I saved know what's her. Stake, and how many people are depending on you. But I believe in you. 
believe that you'll see it through. That's why I'm entrusting my dreams to you. Like Art and Owley once entrusted their dreams to me. There was a time when I would have borne the weight of such expectations without a second thought. But now, I know just how heavy that burden can be. To tell the truth, I'm beginning to wonder if I chose the right path. Sacrifices will inevitably be made for the sake of the ideals I uphold. Maybe I am not the person I thought I was. The person you think I am. I wouldn't presume to tell you. But I will say this. In spite of everything, you've come this far. True, very true. The road ahead might not always be clear, but you've never been one to give up or take the easy way out. And everything you do, you do for others. For a brighter future. I'm proud to call you my friend. Oh. Well, I've said my piece, so I'll let you go. I know you've got more important things to be doing. Just give what I've said some thought, all right? All right. Times have been more salty. You gotta admit. Oh, Arthur Fist. I shall, my friend. And we will meet again soon, I promise. Wait, Alfie doesn't die, does he? No way, right? Anytime somebody says we'll meet again, I, like... I just Nothing assume to someone's do, gonna die. And smile. Aww. You've got a pretty narrow view of what it means to be a hero. Do you know that? You think they're all forged in the fires of battle? That it's all about being brave and killing villains? Alpha No and the others will carry on their fight. But theirs isn't the only one. There are other ways you can make a difference. If you stop feeling sorry for yourself and put your bloody mind to it. <laughs> but he can't walk. That's pretty bad. For someone who's like a fighter. There's not much chance of me living the quiet life with you around, is there? Are they going to be like a little, uh, little You're duo? You're content to twiddle your thumbs, thinking of what might have been. That's your lookout. But I reckon you've got some fight left in you. And I reckon you might be right. If there's a way I can still help my friends, I'll bloody well find it. Nice. Also, I gotta say, his wheelchair is decked out. He's got like fucking 30 inch rims on those bad boys. Oh shit, a duty? <gasps> oh! You can tell me later what that was all about, but judging by the set of Alphanode's jaw, it appears to have done him some good. Bankard and the others have already left the Rising Stones, and according to the communications officer, Amalja and Kobold forces are also bound for Cartano as we speak. They mean to keep the promise they made in Alamigo, and we must do the same by saving as many of their tempered kin as possible. Anyway, the airship is ready to depart. We should get going. Upon joining the Battle of Cartano, several cutscenes will play in sequence. Okay. Progress through the battle will be saved at certain points in the event that you're defeated. <laughs> They're saying this is hard. Okay. Here we go. My fellow Scions, as I am sure you will have heard, we can expect no help from Charlian, nor are we any closer to discerning the Telophoroi's grand design. And now, our adversary moves against us in unprecedented numbers, 
compelling us to answer in kind. The outlook, in short, is bleak. Yet though our foes are many, and we but few, we may still tip the balance in Eorzea's favor. I love how he's back to uh, doing the rousing speeches, like soapbox Alfie again. Of course. We will do what we always do. Deal with the ones our allies can't. A hmm. less than daunting prospect, judging by your expression. Could it be that you've dispelled your lingering doubts, Alphino? <gasps> oh, I doubt I ever will. But as my friends have kindly reminded me, I have come this far, and that must count for something. Aww. God be good, Alphino. That's what we've been trying to tell you all along. <laughs> for one so bright, you can be remarkably dim at times. There is such a thing as overthinking, you know. Okay, okay, it's steady and okay. Easy does it. Might I suggest that we continue this conversation after the battle? It would appear that Tolofaroi have already arrived. I'll I'm do with what Graha. I can to cure the tempered, but they'll have to be incapacitated first. Have care, my friends, for none can say wherefore our foe did choose this fateful field to be our battleground. Whatever may transpire, pray grant him not the pleasure of deterring you. You're always making it seem very ominous. Don't worry. I'm an ultimate legend, Uri. I got it. I'm gonna die, aren't I? Oh shit. Okay. It's just Cartano. What could go wrong? Listen well, friends, the Telophoroi are sweeping across Cartano. As for the Ashen, he was briefly sighted above the battlefield, but has since vanished. He likely intends to watch events unfold from afar. Thus far, the movements of the Lunar Primals have proved difficult to predict. Even when poised to ambush our troops, they instead withdraw for some unknown reason. Whatever the Telophoroi's plan may be, the Primals are our primary targets. Understood, they will not elude the Scions for long. Prepare yourself! We cannot allow ourselves to be stalled here. Okay. So who's tanking? Graha? Pew, pew, pew. So they would overwhelm us with sheer numbers. I will keep them occupied. The rest of you seek out the primals. Let us divide our forces so that we may locate the primals more swiftly. Thank you, Shola, and I shall head east. I'll concentrate my efforts on the tempered. With luck, I should have the chance to cure some of them. And I'll go west. Two Alphano come with me. Okay. That's uh, east. Cardinals. Look at us, the boys. I do not see any primal something's not right. Whoa! As the scions spread out across the field, Alze and Graha take the fight to the Tlofaroi. They're trying to sell us some merch, aren't they? Oh, we get to RP? Am I Alize? Yeah! Sick! Okay. God, I gotta learn this stuff. Verify. I finally get to play Red Mage. Okay, I, I'll just. I'll wing it. This is a combo. I have no idea what I'm doing. Uh. Just gotta keep doing this, right? Button light up, so. Oh, that was some big damage. Okay. Holy fuck! Well, this degree of physical altercation, I fear they are beyond help. Imperials or no, I hate to see them in such pain. We must see what their suffering is, not for long. Yeah, how many times can I hit two? Oh shit! <laughs> okay. Red me just some fists. Just the beginning. Ballistic missile.
Oh boy. Sorry, Graha. Okay, we killed him. Seems we earned a moment's respite and let us take this opportunity to cure the tempered. <laughs> what? Okay. How do I do the Oh, Vert Cure? We get a film with ether. Okay, that makes sense. How many times can I do this? Mr. Vanu Vanu? Looks good. Menacingly hanging out up there. He's going to do a little dance for us. <gasps> what do you see, Graha? Oh, no. What's up there? Do you see that? The glyph. Yes. How worried should we be? The glyph. Listen well and judge for yourself. Though I can see ethereal currents, I had not thoroughly examined those that flow through the heart of Cartano. But now that I am here, things have become clear. The flats conceal an etheric confluence, like to the pillars of the Azim Steppe, but greater in scale, far greater. <laughs> Everybody's mouth's just wide open. The glyphs the Fandaniel has conjured reach into its very midst, and I believe I know their purpose. Should the Lunar Primals destroy them, it would spark a chain reaction with the potential to obliterate the Confluence entirely. Oh. The resultant disruption to the flow of ether would sow chaos among the elements, prompting earthquakes, floods, and tempests large enough to lay waste to the realm. That he would go so far cometh as little surprise. We must needs protect the Confluence at all costs. Oh shit, okay. Defeat Lunar Odin. This is the first time I've ever fought Odin. Is that Odin? So the time has come to pit my blade against his. Follow my lead. <laughs> oh no, I'm a healer now. <laughs> I didn't sign up for this. Oh my god, there's so much information. Basically my one is attack, my four is a big heal, E, A, we heal, and a little shieldy boy. Okay, cool. Let's draw a card. I don't know what that is. Ein her jar. Okay, we'll get a little AoE heal. There we go. Draw another card. Oh shit. Lunar fetters. Oh boy. Uh, we'll put up the shield. I shall protect thee. Ow. Will AoE heal? Uh, we'll keep Thankgrid alive. Are we gonna heal this shit too? Heal that? Oh god, mana. We'll draw a card. Uh, what's this shit again? Mitre. You got slide casting, boys. Okay, I gotta heal this shit. Hang on. No, I got snapshot. Ah, uh, Thankrit's about to die. Shot. Okay, we're gonna keep it alive. This is actually kind of tough. I have no mana. Away with you. I'll put it up now. 
Come on. Destroy it. There we go. The best defense is a good defense. Oh, he just LB3s. Oh shit, we gotta heal that bad boy. Heal him up. Alright, that was a shield. <gasps> Bullshit. Keep tank alive. I think I'm right over here. Easy. Not easy. Look over here. Okay. A little AoE. Better remember, I'm not DPS. Yes, sounds a glutton for punishment, it would seem. I need more mana, dude. Uh, this is probably a shield moment, right? Or is this a fucking... We got him? Is that a DPS check? Yo, let's go. He looked pretty fucking cool, though. Meanwhile, Grahati and Alize prepare to lock swords with Lunar Ravana. Oh, shit. Wait, was that super close? Was that like 0.1%? Okay, what am I? Ninja? Oh no, wait. Black Mage? Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Fire 4. I know Fire 4 is like the key to Black Mage. Oh no. Did I just keep comboing this? Wait, do we not have a tank? Who's our tank? Okay, file, so that's the last. We can use a blizzard. Something about black mage is like you gotta alternate, right? A thunder's a dot. I see, I see. Oh, fuck you. Like moss to the flame, we have to keep them from the confluence. There's so many. Oh, fuck. Okay. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. I could heal that, right? Oh shit. Okay. Damn. Oh, break spell. Okay, that's my interrupt. They really throw the book at you here, huh? You gotta learn three different jobs. Uh, who am I casting on? Or who's doing the freeze thing? Uh, oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. We gotta heal this. Who's doing the freeze? Oh, that's just a full A. I see. I'm gonna cure. I have no mana. Okay, my ice gives me mana back. I see. Ah, okay, okay, okay. I get it. Uh oh. Okay. I'm still flying. I gotta get some mana back. A little health regen. They're throwing knockbacks into. Come on, man. I'm still learning the rotation. I'm gonna heal the confluence a little bit. Alze can do all the damage. I gotta heal Alze too! Heal yourself, motherfucker! Oh shit, I see, I see, I see. She puts his Ravana shield up. Where was it? I didn't see it, man. Is it sides?
He's dying though, he's dying. Oh shit. Try solving it with a brick. I'm trying. Oh, I got a defeat. I see. I see, I see, I see. Uh oh. He's really trying hard to stop me. I feel? No, he's dead. He's <laughs> sick. I had no idea what I'm doing. Good job, Alize. She did like 90% of the damage there, I think. At the self sea moment, you stun shoulder to shoulder with Alpha Nude and Astinian. Res resolve to lay Lunar Ifrit low. Oh god, not this song. Oh god. Oh, I'm... I'm me! Thank fuck! I know Bard. I don't have to worry about heals. All I gotta do is keep my dots up. Keep my songs going. Easy mode. I, I bet we're gonna have eruptions. Reading plumes, okay. Uh, wrong. Okay, that was weird. Uh, dashes. <laughs> god, I hate it for it. Hellfire. Oh god, Niels. PTSD. Okay, we should be good, right? We're good. How does a Stinian not have threat? Okay. Oh, okay. Easy. <laughs> oh, God. He didn't awaken, chat. He didn't awaken. Fuck. Okay, this shit again. Where are we going? Over here? This one was an easy one. God. We definitely gotta kill the outside ones. Oh, he's gonna LB3. Let's go! Oh shit! Glockenspiel! And you're still telling me he doesn't have threat. Like, seriously. Agony of the Damned. Not be oh, fuck. Good heals, Alvi. Good heals. As long as I draw breath, I won't give in. Is this just a deeps check? Oh, my two minutes are up. Easy clear, easy clear. Let's go! Nice.
Is that it? There's gonna be something more. Or maybe not. Nice job, fellas. Nice job. Maybe I should pick up Black Mage. Right? I seem pretty good. And thus another plan went up in smoke. I am <laughs> beginning to see why Lord Xenos thinks so highly of you. He's got a little thing for Not me. Not that this changes anything you understand. You have merely earned yourself a stay of execution. Oh, it's gone. Nice. We're safe for a little bit. We're safe. Until Endwalker. Right? That was fun, though. That was a really cool duty. We got him. Glory He's alive. To the oh no. Oh no. I thought he was going to punch him. <laughs> oh. So he was a zombie. How fair the tempered. We've treated as many as we can, but some were beyond help. Sarge. He is the pot helm. My first ever pot helm. Oh, so does he. Do not hang your head so, brave scions. Though not all of our captured brethren could be saved, we are grateful for those whose minds have been restored. You could do no more, and that is enough. So please hold your heads high. All the scions together. I should have been quicker, but I'll do better next time. It's always nice having us all here. Thank you for your kind words. They mean a lot. I mean, minus Kryle, but... A victory at great cost, but a victory nonetheless. We must stay strong and press on. Isn't that right? Hell yeah. You come this far? Isn't that what Arnvald said? <laughs> it really must count for something. Hey. Oh no. Oh no. What? No. What could possibly happen now? Kitaru? Oh 
Why is the moon so bright, guys? Guys? Oh, shit. Damn. That's a very ambiguous ending. That has me puzzled. I was not expecting like that. We did see a lot of the moon before, like a little bit on the moon and stuff. So I knew it had like a higher purpose of some sort, but what the fuck is that? Lunar Bahamut and stuff? Oh my God, okay. Well, that, that's Shadowbringers, boys. I'm assuming there's gonna be more after this, but wow. That was a really interesting way of ending it as well on the solo G, it's cool. But wow, like what? Just overall, what a crazy good expansion. What an insane journey. What a story. Well, boys, I think it's time to skip, to be honest. The blasphemous action. You guys ready? Three, two, one. Okay, we're back here. Oh, everybody's here. Skipper, skipper, you skipped the, the credits. Trust me, I will watch them and appreciate every single person who worked on Shadowbringers off stream. How about that? Like, seriously, everybody who worked on this is insane. Like, what they kind of pulled off of this in terms of a story MMO is... I don't know if they'll be able to top it. Even with Dawn Trail and all of the stuff coming, like, I think this is just so, so good. It's actually so good. I keep saying it, but how they, like, intertwined everything from the whole way back to Realm Reborn, coils, all of that stuff, the time travel stuff. But this is the last moment? Okay, I, I need to sit with these guys then. Here's what we're gonna do. A Tatari there in the background. Oh. My last moments with the Scions, with the Scions. I recommend that the Lions keep a closer watch over Cartano. The Hiloferoi may have failed in their attempt to destroy the Confluence this time, but there is naught to stop them trying again. It was decent of Lord Emmerich to bear us home aboard his airship. The gods only know how we would have squeezed this many people onto the Bonanza. <laughs> for Tataru. The temper that we were able to treat will be taken to the city-states for observation. As soon as the Alliance is satisfied that they're fully recovered, they will be free to return home. At the close of the battle, when the clouds parted and the moon shone down on us all, I cannot well express how I felt. Somehow it seemed more beginning than an ending. Aww. Many though the enemy were, their numbers consisted largely of tempered beastmen. With a few lunar primals to keep things interesting, the Garleans themselves ventured little and lost less. It has ever been the Empire's way to have others fight their battles, but even they would blush at the Telephoroi's use of tempered slaves. The Cardinal Vlats seem fated to play a prominent role in the history of the realm, do they not? I was thinking that, yeah. It kind of all all happens there. I wonder, might the abundance of ether that floweth through the region have led the Allegans to entomb Omega there? Throughout the battle, I could not shake the feeling that all present were performing for the amusement of Van Daniel, nor did his blithe reaction to this latest defeat give me cause to think otherwise. I can only conclude that such failures are of little consequence to his broader scheme, whatever it may be. And of course we gotta finish with Tataru. You should have seen my face when Lord Emmerich showed up on our doorstep. Did none of you think to send word he was bringing you home? <laughs> okay. Anybody wants to pet the sprite before I get rid of it? Your final chance. Yoshi P's here to witness it too. I like it. Who cares about an icon shot, right? Who cares about a silly little green icon? <laughs> a silly little green icon. It's like the Last Supper. Fucking hell. Okay, let's not be depressed. I'll see you guys. On to Fields Walker. <laughs> it's not even voiced. Dude. I trust you all enjoyed a comfortable flight aboard the pride of the Ishgardian fleet. Lest you worry, the Bonanza has been towed into a nearby location to be retrieved at your convenience. <laughs> you have thought of everything, Lord Emmerich. And may I say how much I appreciated the hospitality afforded us on the way home. Think nothing of it. 
Our destination lay in the same direction, and it afforded me the perfect opportunity to learn how my errant friend has been since he last took his leave. It would seem you have finally found a place to settle down. Hmm. <laughs> I merely grew weary of wandering the Far East. Returning to more serious matters, while the Telephoroi have been driven from Cartino, tis like that the bulk of their forces yet remain. On the evidence of the Grand Company of Eorzea's bad name, first joint military operation, however, I am confident that we have the potential to meet such threats head on, even without the aid of you and yours. As such, while our forces keep the Telephoroi at bay, I would ask that you apply your talents to the task of neutralizing the towers. Okay, we're back back into business, I guess. A sensible division of labor. While the towers remain, so too will the threat of the lunar primals. And given our expertise in the field of aetherology, we are better qualified to find the solution. That we are. Especially should it happen to lie beyond the Alliance's dominion. There is a time and place for formal investigations, of course, but certain secrets are wont to hide where only enterprising individuals may venture. I could not agree more. There are none better suited to this task, nor any upon whom I would rather rely. Yeah. On behalf of the Alliance, I thank you. We look forward to receiving any information you were able to uncover. And with that, I must take my leave. Should you have need of assistance, pray do not hesitate to ask. Fare you well, my friends. I confess, I had hoped to be able to study the towers more closely, vital as they plainly are to the Telephoroi's plans. If we can discern their ultimate function, it will be one step closer to understanding our enemy's grand scheme. Should we succeed in neutralizing them, of course, it is all but certain that the Telephoroi will mount an all-out invasion. And then it will begin. The one who awaits at the heart of the chaos will come for us. For you. It's always for me. Yet in the end, our true nemesis may be the calamity to end all calamities, the final days themselves. Yes, all right, I'll, you know, we need a plan, not portents. And as Thancred so eloquently pointed out, we are in a position to seek information from all manner of places, not least, not least, Charlayan. According to Kryle, the Forum have been more secretive than ever of late. While this may be related to the appearance of the Telephoroi, that remains a matter of speculation. But one thing is clear, the Forum is determined to keep us from discovering the truth. Master Forshino's performance at the Lotus Stand was enough to convince me of that. The truth about what? The matter beareth further investigation, I do heartily concur. Nor can I think of a more promising place to look for the answers we seek on the matter of the towers. Charlene hath ever been the wellspring of etherical knowledge. I care not where we go. Here or there, my lance will be ready. And what of you two? Might you be persuaded to join us? No vacation? <laughs> Have we no other joys? If it means I can have words with Fortuno, hell yeah. I'll knock him out. Only after I do. <laughs> if he and his friends in the forum think we'll leave them alone, if they ignore us, they're in for a shock. It appears we are in agreement. We have but to wait for Kryle to secure the necessary permissions. In the meantime, there is a matter I would investigate. Classic. Does it involve tall structures? By strange coincidence it does. At present I only have a creeping suspicion, but with your help I will soon find out whether my fears are warranted. No. <laughs> I'm not doing it, chat. No. <laughs> no. I won't. It was a good run. No 
Don't console me with I've learned the emo shush. Meanwhile, in the Garlean capital. Oh, shoot. What the fuck is that thing? Is that a scythe? Oh, okay. Reaper. I see. Those Aorzeans certainly are a stubborn bunch. Though I suppose you knew that already. My plan to redirect the ether from Cartano came to a rather less than satisfactory conclusion. It was, in many respects, an abject failure. Ha! Which does, of course, raise the question of where we are going to procure the requisite amount. The obvious solution would be to draw on resources a little closer to home, though that would require our dreamer to dream a trifle more deeply. Is that what they're doing on the moon? They're getting ether from the moon? No. So be it. The dreamer will not complain. Then let us begin the preparations at once. With the gateway of the gods complete, all that remains is to gather the necessary ether, and our prize shall be within reach. The gateway of the gods. What the fuck is that? Oh, is this the tall structure? The time has come to fulfill your heart's desire. My desire! Oh, God. To relieve those wretched creatures of their meaningless existence! While I await you... It's orange. I shall drink a sea of souls and gorge myself upon the darkened moon. The darkened moon. Huh? Then you shall come to me, all roiling rage and rancor. <laughs> and the stars shall bear witness to our final contest. He definitely dyes his eyebrows, by the way. Um. Um. Okay. The moon is orange. The darkened moon. What the fuck is going on? As I thought, the ethereal currents have been disturbed here, too. It was the same in Thanalan. Mm. Make that every location we surveyed. Is that what the towers are actually doing? And the strength of each current has diminished dramatically, far more than could be attributed to a natural occurrence. What tidings bringest thou from Dravania? Probably same news, right? We took a number of readings and noticed that the closer we were to the tower, the lower the etheric density became. In short, the towers short. are drawing upon the land's ether. Yeah. Which would explain how they were able to carry out the summonings. They're sucking us dry. Be of Shit. We should return to the Rising Stones and have Tataru relay our findings to them. Mm. 
Yeah, maybe now they'll believe us. Hear me. Hear me. Oh! Hear me. Hear me. Mama? The song. Who is this? Come, 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 come. And with and it, with it, with it. The end. The, end. the fate. The fate. fate. Of the star, of the star. Is, in your, is hands. in your hands. Who's this? It sounded like Heidelin. Everything all right back there? But Heidelin's a crystal, you know? Oh, it was nothing. It was nothing. It was just a ghost. Oh my god, the mood. At solemn dawn, grim purpose shines it in gazes cast toward moonlit sky. Thus does our final curtain rise, your steps to guide but end something. <laughs> they always go too quick with those. Betides, I think, besides. The zone or log I will be gone. Don't leave the rising stones. Oh no. I'm just gonna sit here and rock back and forward for the rest of time. I've got my friends here. I I'm good. Leave the rising stones. I have graduated. This is gonna be weird. This is gonna be weird. This is gonna be weird. This is so weird. What the fuck is this shit? I don't like it. Ah, <sighs> it actually just it it feels so weird. I'm just gonna start an alt, guys. I'm, I'm just gonna create an alt. I'm gonna start an alt channel and just play through Final Fantasy again. And you guys won't know. I'll just put on a voice changer, no cam, everything, or become a vo VTuber. You guys won't know. Ah, <sighs> well, guys, that was Shadowbringers. I kind of speechless. I have so many thoughts about the events that we just witnessed. Overall, the entire expansion is just so many praises I think I have for just how good this was. It's astounding to me how they managed to put together such a complex story and just keep it so coherent throughout. What an emotional journey, man. Um, I just lost my sprout. So it's, it's sad there as well. There's I kind of see it as like a graduation of sorts, but I'm super glad that I made it this far, thanks to you guys. I know always you guys said it was like, once you get past the Realm Reborn, that's the filter and you'll be hooked. And I was. So thank you guys for, for sticking around with me. Thank you guys for enjoying the videos. I hope you enjoy the videos. We've got a new expansion coming just around the corner as well. So we're going to be powering through Endwalker. Hope to see a lot of you guys around for that. But yeah, that's pretty much going to do us. That's Shadowbringers. That's 5.5. Of course, we're going to have the Alliance raids as well. The Nier raids. So I'm kind of looking forward to those. Uh, we'll see how they go. And yeah, I'm also working on a bunch of other videos as well. Uh, not MSQ related. So keep an eye out for those. Join the Discord if you're not in there. And you want to keep up to date with all the stuff coming out in the channel. Or what we're doing schedule wise. We are going to be progging through Eden Savage on stream. So keep an eye out for that as well. Of course, big shout outs to all of you guys who are members or subscribe on Twitch, you guys roll. Thank you so much for all the support. Some of you guys are coming up on like, I don't know, a year and a half at this point. It's kind of crazy to think about, but I really cannot overstate how much it means that you guys are, are so supportive. So I really appreciate it. And uh, thank you guys. But yeah, that's going to do it for me. I'll see you guys next time when we begin day one of Endwalker. I can't believe it. Oh, we're here. See you guys. Take care. Peace.